So I was trying to decide if I wanted to play Sanji for my pre-release a couple of days ago. And instead, I decided to just bring it on the sim and see how it could do in the OP04 meta. So in this video, we're going to be going over my Sanji list and showing you guys some gameplay. Now, Sanji, for those of you that don't know, is once per turn. When you play a character without an effect from your hand, if you have three or less characters in play, set up to two of your dawn as active. And so for most people, that might kind of look like Dofi's ability, right? You know, like Dofi can restand some dawn at the end of the turn and then he can utilize them for events. Well, for me, I was just like, yeah, I just want to utilize this for offense and absolutely rush my opponent down. So for defense, quote unquote defense, the only events that we are running are 3000 Worlds and Red Rock. This is going to allow us to deal with any troublesome cards that do end up hitting on the board. Outside of that, everything else that we are running are going to be Vanillas that can then trigger Sanji's ability, allowing us to have two more Dawn, and then attaching that two Dawn to continue to swing or to play another character and develop the board and just be annoying and really swarm the board, right? You know how Zoro's annoying because he could just summon a whole bunch of bodies and swing at you? That was kind of my game plan with Sanji. So outside of the events, we also have all the vanillas that are going to be high power. So we're looking at Draco Mihawk 6 cost, as well as Virgo 5 cost, which are going to be 8,000 power, 7,000 power, respectively. On the green side, we have Kuro, who's going to be 8,000 power, 6 cost, who is new in this set. We have Roki as well. You could choose to play Krokodil if you want, but I went ahead and played Roki. We also have Edward Weevil. We had to throw some 3 costs in, so we threw some Edward Weevils. We threw in some Usopps. We threw in John Bart. We threw in Kobe. We threw in Gecko Moria. We threw in Pacifista. We threw in Zoro. You guys see it. We have no 2k counters. This deck is complete jank. Let's take it online. Okay, first gameplay, we have Sanji versus Charlotte Katakuri. This is OP04 format. So obviously Charlotte Katakuri got some interesting things. We're waiting for him to choose his turn and... What? What did he say? Thanks, Batsu. Sickos. Wait, is he, is he calling me a sicko? You can see here I put question mark. And I'm wondering, is it because of my name, Gum Gum BBC, which stands for uh, Gum Gum Blue Black Croc? It's a leader that I'm hoping that we get one day. So is he calling me a sicko because of my name or is he calling me a sicko because I'm piloting Sanji and OPO4? Well, I don't know. If I get banned, boys, well, so sorry for trying to bring you guys content. But uh, yeah, it looks like Jay did not want to go up against Sanji. Uh... Yeah, let's just go to the next game. Okay, so up next, we are going up against a smoker. And uh, yeah, let's just say um, I'm not used to playing this deck. So smoker goes ahead and uses brand new. I have three Dawn. We just go ahead and attach everything and swang. He takes the hit. We're both at four life. He goes ahead and swings at me. I throw a 1-2k counter. Kuzon hits the board. And here I'm like, huh, how do I do this again? What do I want to play? And then I realized, I was like, oh, wait a second. Do I really want to do this? I could play Edward Weevil or I could have attached more and swung. But I just went ahead, swung with leader. He pitched a 1k counter. And we developed a 4k body. A 4k body. We, we developed a 6k body 4 cost as well as a 5k body 3 cost on that turn. Not too shabby, but we get minus 4. And so here I'm thinking ultimately Kobe's coming right because why else is he gonna go ahead and swing at minus four if kobe isn't coming here of course garp is also another option but here we see five we go ahead and take that drop down to three life and sakazuki comes out i was thinking it was kobe but it was the boy sack so we go ahead and try to attack this kuzan we're just trying to get cards out of his hand right now we have seven dawn but of course with sanji's leader ability we'll be able to to do shenanigans, so he goes ahead and pitches one to keep it alive. I go ahead and play my Zoro. I have Dawn active. I have five Dawn. I'm thinking now, do I want to play Pacifista? Do I just want to swing, develop another body, etc., etc.? I decide to play Gecko Moria and go for six, trying to kill that Kuzon. And he keeps it alive because in my mind, I'm like, as long as Kuzon's on board, then Smoker becomes live. On top of that, he can go ahead and maybe pops off with Kobe or other cards. And there we go. He goes ahead and gets rid of. One of my characters, minus his four here. I have to pitch another card out of hand. It's Dire Straits, right? Look at the board state. He gets the Kobe. He gets the Borsalino. I'm down one life. His board's looking scary. I got Dracul Mihawk, and I'm just like, okay, screw it. I'm going to just keep swinging, man. 
I'm going to just keep swinging. So we finally get him off the board. Then we go nine. We're going to go over to Sakazuki, but he blocks with Borsalino. So we're able to clear up the board just a little bit. But unfortunately, I think he's caught on. Don't have the counters. If I had a 2K, I could have lived there. But we get a red rock here. And I decide to keep it. I don't decide to use it. Now, is that a mistake? Did I just make the greatest mistake known to man? We don't know because 10 cost Kuzan comes out. So I didn't because now we red rock him. We red rock him. I was predicting that. I, I wasn't. I, I wasn't predicting that. I, 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 I'm not going to lie to you guys. But, but, there's a chance now. Look at the game state. Look at the game state. But then we have the cards in our hand. So he can very easily just do math, right? If he does a basic math, he can very easily end me next turn. But instead, he decides to play it safe, goes for the board clear, swings with that uh, brand new fellow Baldy. And here I'm just like, okay, yeah, the, the, the game's over. There's nothing I can really do here. We go ahead and swing eight. It dies. We swing that. That dies. And now he gets two swings here, five, and then he swings with Borsellino. And uh, yeah, we lose. So what do I do? I queue right back up and let's get some more content. So we decide to go second here. We are going up against Crocodile. Now, as you guys know, I am the residential Crocodile enthusiast, okay? So I know absolutely everything this guy's going to play. I know the exact curve. I have played probably at least minimum 100 Crocodile games in OPO4. Um, at minimum. So, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. The thing is, I'm bad at the game, and I'm playing a leader I've never played before. So, uh, get ready to see some misplays. But we go ahead and we swing 5k here. He's probably going to take it. And he decides to ditch his So King. I go ahead and develop a character, and I'm just like, I am low IQ. I forgot my leader ability. I could have very easily just attached that 2 dot to Sanji. After playing my Jean Bart, but it's fine. And guess what? I get intric. I get Red Rock. That's why we play the Red Rock. Bye bye, Centamaru. Hey, I, I know you want to pop off with those Centamaros. Not on my watch, homie. Not on my watch. So even though we misplayed and we left two dawn open, uh, I'm still feeling pretty good. All right? I'm still feeling pretty good. <clears throat> we got another Red Rock in hand. Honestly, for me, I'm just chilling. I'm just thinking in my mind, okay, um, you know. There's going to be a big body that comes out. So I want to be ready for that. Um, and guess what I forgot to do, guys? You guys see that? You guys see Jean Bart is standing? <laughs> yeah, I didn't swing. So I am terrible. So we're off to a bad start. Not only did we just get cooked by Smoker, but your boy is forgetting how to play the One Piece card game. So what do I do? I go ahead and counter out of this. He played a Soak King to bounce one of my cards back up to my hand. But you know what? I'm not worried. Want to know why I'm not worried? Because... I've played so much croc in my day and age. So here we go. He's thinking what he can do. In my, in my mind, I'm like, okay, do I red rock this? Because I just drew another red rock. And in my mind, I'm like, eh, I probably don't have to. We could just get a little bit aggressive here because he's probably going to play something big next turn, right? I know it. I know the curve. You play Soaking. Then he could just go ahead and play Mihawk. And then right after that, he can go ahead and play Kaido. So here, I'm just trying to chip away cards from his hand. We're going to go ahead and get the ulti out. We get a 1k counter. We swing 6k. We get a 2k counter and Kaya out. And now he has 9 done. So in my mind, I'm like, Mihawk's coming out. If Mihawk comes out, I got something for that. I got the red rock, right? But he attaches four Dawn to Croc to attack Jean Bart. And remember, guys, I'm not running any 2K counters, bro. That, that, that boy was dead, bro. If you just attached one Dawn. Well, two Dawn, technically, because I had a Roki in hand. But he goes ahead. He gets rid of my Edward Weevil. He pumped. He pumped that thing up, bro. He wanted that guy dead, bro. Look at my head. He had no clue. But now he has double Doflamingos on board, guys. He has double Doflamingos. He's going to be playing a ton of defense. Now... Is he going to decide to bounce? He decides not to bounce. But look what I got. <laughs> I got the Red Rock. And now we're just going to go on offense. We go seven here. And yes, I know you guys are probably going to be like, Ryan, why didn't you go low to high? Well, uh, again, I'm a bad player, okay? So we're going to go seven. We get some cards out of hand. We're going to go six. We go ahead and get another 2K counter. And then we go five. And then we go ahead and get another. No, I actually don't think we get another counter out of hand. I think he blocks with... Uh, with uh, Doflamingo here. I actually don't remember. 
it's taking some time. It's taking some time. How are you guys doing? Are you guys subscribed yet? Go ahead and click that subscribe button. And click that like button while you guys are down there as well. So he went ahead and swapped it back over to the Doflamingo. And he only has two cards in his hand. And I'm like, boy, if that's Kaido, well, then he can only bounce one card because it's not a three cost or less. But he can definitely do some damage and try to clear board here. So he goes ahead, attaches four dawn. Now, remember, he could always use leader ability and bounce. But the one thing that's good about Sanji is that I'm getting really good value. If you go ahead and bounce one of these cards... If you go ahead and bounce my Roki, no problem. I'm playing him effectively as 3 Don. So I'm chilling. It's not a 5 Don 7 cost body. It's a 3 cost 7 cost body. A 3 cost 7k body. So he decides to bounce my Passy. He bounces my Pacifista. And I'm just like, really, bro? Really? It's just going to come back out. And look what I drew, man. I drew a 3,000 worlds. How beautiful is that? So we go ahead, we just start flooding the board. We 3,000 worlds, get the block out. Now we're smart. We go five, and then we're going to go seven. So we get a 1K counter, seven. We, this is a guaranteed hit, but it's not because he has a love, love beam. So I'm just like, ah. Oh. And then love, love beam allows him to draw, so he gets to replenish a card. And now in my mind, I'm just like, okay, well, at least I can't get, um, what's that card? I can't get uh, Mihawked here. So he goes 10. I just die. That's fine. He has three Dawn left. Am I going to see another Doflamingo? No, we see a pass. And you and, and look at this, man. Just 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 look at it. I'm just trying to do the math. Alright, I'm just trying to math it out. I'm like, okay, I got this many Dawn left. Let's go ahead and swing nine. He take the hit. We go ahead and swing nine. He takes the hit. And we go ahead and swing seven. And he takes the hit. And then we go ahead and pass. And so now I'm feeling really nice. I, hey, man, look at that. I got three life left. I got three cards on board. He can try to attack me. He could try to bounce me. But you get. But guess what? Unless it... Oh, 3,000 worlds and a blocker? Yeah. About that. Because now he can just attack me. And then he can just bounce that. And he's probably like, yeah, you know, there's no way he's going to have another piece of removal in his hand, right? Surely he's not. I can just bounce his pacifista and then he'll only be able to swing with his Sanji. And then I'll be able to win and be able to get one of my events back from my trash. But look at what's in my hand. We have the red rock. So what do we do? We red rock and we swing nine. And then you shake my hand. And we got a W. So now we got one report. We got one loss. And we got one win. So you know what we had to do? We had to play one more. This one is for all the marbles. So this one I was actually um, streaming to my friend. And I was showing him the match. And I was like, look, man. Sanji is a A-tier deck in OP04. And so we're going up against an OP04 leader, Do Flamingo. And guys... Look at how OP this deck is. Want to know why? Because we play Usopp and then we swing seven. How beautiful is that? He's at four life. I'm at four life. And he's taking a seven hit right off the bat with a... Oh. Okay. He had a... I didn't know he would play a Gum Gum Gatling. So, oh. Brook and Usopp. This is this is gonna be quite the game, fellas. This is gonna be quite the game. This is gonna be quite the game. But look, we got five dawn, right? Right? We got five dawn. So we go ahead and play a Roki. We develop a big body. And I'm just gonna go into offensive, man. Let's swing seven and see if we can get some life off him. He left two dawn open. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna take the hit? Is he not? He is going to I think he takes a hit. Yeah, he does take the hit. And he goes ahead, and I believe he got the trigger to ramp. And then we just go ahead and swing again. And he takes the hit! He takes the hit! And I hit Paradise Waterfall and trigger, which sucks. But you know what? We already got that off. So here comes the Utah. We have the Blocker Utah on board. We have another Usopp. So film deck, doing film deck things, flooding the board. And for me, I'm just like, huh. At least there's no 7 cost Luffy yet, right? But we go ahead and hit a 3,000 worlds in trigger. We go ahead and get rid of the Usopp. We go ahead and ditch one. And now look, man. Look at this beauty. We go ahead and play Kuro. And I was like, oh, shit. I probably should have played John Bart. So I could have 3,000 worlds. I am bad. But we go ahead and just swing seven. You know, at this point, I'm just like, all right. Let me try to control the board. And we get Union Armada, bro. Are you serious? You're actually playing that in Doflamingo? But whatever. 
At least we get one body off board. I'm fine with that. We pass it back over. I was thinking maybe the right play would have been John Bartz into 3,000 Worlds. Because now, look at all this, bro. He loads up the Dawn. And he's going to swing 8 into my Roki, I believe it is. Or does he go face? I actually don't remember at all. Oh, he goes 9. Yeah, he decides to attach more and goes 9 just for the guaranteed hit. And yeah, that, that's dead, right? <clears throat> we get 8. I have to take that. And I believe he leaves Yuta standing here. He had two more Dawn, but like, you know. Oh, wait, he swung with this? Did he actually swing with this? Oh, yeah, I have to take this, bro. Ouch. Okay, so here I'm like, okay, I'm at nine Dawn. I have to do something about his board, right? Because I'm like, he has no rush. He has no rush. So I definitely live one more turn if I can clear his board. And if I can get him to take one more hit. So what I decide to do, I go 7 to here and I hope that he doesn't have the counters to keep it alive. And I'm like, maybe that was a misplay. I'm like, maybe I should have just went 8, but it dies. So I'm like, okay, there's a chance. So then now, we just go curl here. But now that I think about it, I probably should have 3,000 worlds and then attacked and I could have went face. But hey, I'm a bad player, guys, so uh, don't get mad at me. So now I have seven Dawn left, and now I realize I'm an idiot because I'm like, okay, these numbers don't really make sense, and now I still have one Dawn left. But it's fine because now I know I can't lose, and I developed two bodies. So I'm like, there's absolutely no way. He had Top Knot. He had Top Knot. Who plays Top Knot in this deck? Who? <sighs> well... Turn passes back over to us. We have to win this turn. But guess what we have on our side? Math. Now, the thing is, he has two Dawn open. I look at his trash because I'm just like, oh, Punk Gibson is that the third. But I'm just like, okay, well, we have to try. I have to swing. We know he's going to get two cards out of life. So I'm just trying to think. I'm like, do I swing Sanji first? Do I risk one of my characters getting hit? Do I swing with Pacifista first? And I just say, screw it. And I go nine. Boom. One hit. Okay. So now I'm just like, do I go nine with Sanji here? And I'm like, I go nine with Sanji here. It goes through. And then we go 11 with Kuro. <gasps> hey, we got the dub. And so we end up with one report, two wins, one loss. And that is Sanji. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit all that good stuff. Hit all the buttons. Leave a nice comment down below. And I'm out. Peace.